Howdy. I got a lot of questions on this vise, so let's talk about it real quick. The most common concern by far was how difficult it is to adjust or to pull the pipes out to adjust or loosen the rear jaw of the actual pipe itself. So it's very easy. It's probably as difficult, or I should say as easy as it would be to use the quick adjustment feature on a traditional woodworking vise. If any of those vices have some type of quick release, typically it's on the bottom side if I'm not mistaken, that you have to reach in and pull to quick release. So basically that's all that is. You still have two and a half inches of travel on the screw of these clamps themselves. So if you need to pull out even further, then the rear jaw pipe is, I can see it in between here. So it's, it's in between this first row of dog holes on both of these pipes. So where my safety glasses are, that's all you're reaching in underneath the table. So adjusting the pipe is super easy on both sides. And of course, it's pipe clamps, so pushing them further in is really easy. It's real easy to use. I mentioned in the build video about using the jaw with a dog in it in conjunction with the dogs in the table to clamp stuff down. Um, it doesn't work. Not because of the vise, but because of the material that I have for the top of my table. This is half inch plywood, so each one of my dogs that I've made for this, they were all bending like 15, 20 degrees in the backwards direction, causing the material to pop up. So it just doesn't work because of the material on the top of here. If you were to use a more substantial size workbench top, maybe two pieces of three quarter inch plywood laminated together, your experience may be different. But because this is a single sheet of half inch plywood, it doesn't work. So I just chopped off a dowel to plug my hole. That will always be there to remind me that this doesn't work. Anytime I make something like this for the shop, I always play around with it for a couple days to see what works, see what doesn't work, and see how I use it the most. And I seem to be using this the most, just like you would a normal bench vise. So I'm pretty much always using this particular clamp on the side as a bench vise, forgetting about the rest of it. Yes, it's here for different situations that may arise, but is as a normal bench vise, it operates just fine for doing what you need to do. Now, that's three quarters of a turn. That's not going anywhere. My table is bouncing around more than this is actually moving in the vise. So as far as using half inch versus three quarter inch pipe clamps, this is a half inch pipe clamp. Clamp. It's just what I have, and that was three quarters of a turn to tighten it down. And it's holding just fine. I can crank on this a little more if I want to, but hey, that's working just fine. Also, these particular pipe clamps, um, if you just need a little bit of room here, just a little bit more, then you can wiggle these and it slides out a little bit. without reaching into the table. Now you can't just pull them forcefully backwards because it engages those jaws, but if you rotate the pipe, it slides out as it spins. Now how often you have to pull this pipe out is probably a lot less than what you would initially think because these particular pipe clamps have two and a half inches of travel in the screw. So that means you have two and a half inches of jaw travel without ever adjusting the pipe at all. So if you're working with two and a half inch material or less most commonly then you will probably never have to adjust the pipe at all. But because the adjustment is there it does give you more flexibility for larger objects. Another concern is the actual height in which these are located uh, as, as you run into them. You know you can walk into these and easily bruise a thigh or a your hip real bad or your special parts. Um, yeah, that's a concern. So is the corner on the original workbench and I never ran into it. So uh, it's there and I imagine if I was to ever run into it, uh, it would be a, you know, a lesson learned and don't do that again kind of situation. Safety glasses. That's a super fun and exciting topic. I got an email asking what kind of safety glasses are these that I've always been wearing in my videos. These are uh, like two years old now. I've been, have, I've been using them ever since. 
Um, I really like these. These are DeWalt brand. I don't know what model, what model it is, but I'll post an Amazon link down below. But these are super form-fitting, like they're like the wraparound kind. And I really like these as opposed to the same thing but the clear kind because these clear ones that are wraparound, um, they're clear. So they get lost in the shuffle when you're trying to find them. You can't find them easily. These are black and yellow, so they stick out like a sore thumb. And you can always find these. The yellow is actually like a padded material, so it doesn't hurt your face and it doesn't dig into the side of your head when you're using them. And there's also some squishy little foamy nose thingies right here. And I've had these for like two years. They're really good. I always reach for them as opposed to all the other safety glasses that I have. So uh, yeah, that's what kind of safety glasses these are. Hope that helps. I need to come up with some like catchy, cheesy jingle. Sticker time for stickers or something. Uh, stickers for the cabinet this week. We have tab left workshop, tab left workshop tableft.com thank you very much for the sticker i'm following this guy on instagram and youtube uh good stuff thank you very much Cra uh, make crazy days i've just found this channel not too long ago make crazy days on youtube this is from aaron and elizabeth this guy turned a um what was it, it was an old yard sale find lathe that he found and turned it into a disc sander uh that was pretty cool. So thank you very much for the sticker. Very much appreciate it. And last but not least, we have Pete's Wonderful Works of Wood. Pete's Wonderful Works of Wood. Pete Stewart. Peter Stewart. Whew, I can't talk. This is uh, Peter Stewart. He sent me the Detroit Tigers uh, pennant a couple weeks ago, a month or so ago, and um, also saving up for a bandsaw doing some work for his neighbor. So hopefully by now you have that saved up for the bandsaw. If not, then uh, it'll come to you. Um, but thank you very much for the sticker. Very much appreciate it. Thank you, all three of you guys. And let's go put these up on the cabinet. Forgot to mention real quick that the reason I got this chair in here is I put my computer in here. So now this is like, whoa. This is actually like the most awesome man cave ever. And I'm loving it. So let's go put these on the cabinet.